All right, guys, so how's it going? And welcome back to another video. And I'm, I'm not like that professional guy that gives you really pro news. I'm just having a chat with you with what's going on and giving you kind of my opinion. And yeah, I'm just your pal. You know, I'm not like that professional. I'm just, you know, I'm here to have fun. But today we're going to be talking about the custom models uh, for the RTX 3000 series. It got unveiled and the pricing looks to be very fair. Like, for example, the RTX 3090, it looks the founder's edition model for around 1500 English pounds. And by the way, all these information are coming from WCCF Tech, so you might want to check it out because it's a really trustworthy, good site that without it, this video wouldn't be possible. So yeah, pay them a visit. They're really cool. And actually, they have another YouTube channel. They, they might as well like have, you know, mentioned that in their video. So so yeah, the RTX 3090, as I said, for around 1500 pounds, the founder's edition model on the cheapest gigabyte model is for around the same price. So I don't know how much that exactly would cost in US dollars because it's not like a, cur a currency converting thing. It's more like every region has its own price. Like for example, the Ryzen 5 1600 AF, it, which is like a really cheap CPU, uh, when it launched, secretly launched, it was for 85 US and it was for 85 English pounds. The new 1600 AF is supposed to cost around 85 pounds new here in the UK. But also like it should be for 1500 bucks, the founder's edition model. So I can only imagine the gigabyte model or the cheapest custom model for the same price. Also, we're looking at the RTX 3080 and I don't remember exactly, but I think it's the gigabyte model. And it was also going for 650 English pounds, same as the founder's edition model. So yeah, there are some cheap models, but there are also some really expensive models like the Asus ROG version that you saw. Uh, on the thumbnail, it looks for around approximately $1,000, not UK, which translates, I believe, I'm guesstimating around 860 English pounds, and I'm not looking at numbers right now, so I'm sorry for that, I'm gonna correct it. But actually, still, if you could get these GPUs, if you could actually get them on launch for these prices, it's still like a win for you. I mean, it looks like you're gonna have some really good performance compared to the RTX 2000 series. Now, I've never been the type of guy to be like on the hype rate, because nah, I'm just not that guy. But I'm like a devil's advocate. But there isn't anything to complain about with what NVIDIA's are doing right now. They're not monopolizing the market. Feels like they're competing with someone with AMD, like being so busy with Big Navi. And who the fuck is gonna buy Big Navi right now with these really intriguing GPUs? Well, they got really stable drivers and you know the latest and greatest features, the RTX features, you know, RTX voice, removing the background without a fucking green screen. Very very promising and I, i've heard on the, i've heard about that without even watching like the event so what the hell are we talking about here they bring some really cool stuff but that also has like kind of you know a disadvantage or a con the thing is if you have like an rtx 2000 series gpu or you're like saving up for this rtx 3000 series what are the odds if you live outside the united states if you're not going out of your home that often it's gonna be a fucking war <laughs> it's like a, that black friday brutal like deathmatch it's gonna be a fucking war everything would go out of stock and we would see something like the rtx 3070 for around 1000 bucks like for example the rtx 2080 the second gen rtx 2000 series or whatever you want to call it it was for 600 bucks uh, Nvidia said it would be for that price, but on launch it was for $800 because the very increasingly demand that's more than the supply. So yeah, please, if you have a GPU, <laughs> don't sell it. Like you're not gonna lose your money. If you sold your GPU for very cheap right now, you're gonna pay a lot <laughs> for the RTX 3000 series on launch if you could find it because there is a possibility that you'll not find it. So please, just hold on your freaking it, like stand <laughs> i don't know i don't know how to say it. We, we're all gonna go like pay a visit to a doctor at some point and ask them if there's any organ we want to get rid of uh that's not you know it's not that useful <laughs> we're gonna do that just wait so yeah this is what's going on and also the rtx 3070 for 470 english pounds which is approximately 550 bucks but again that's english pounds uk pricing so as for the us for around 500 bucks and also the cheapest models um, uh, custom model is for around the same price exactly the same price also there is that thing that caught my eye on the WCCF tech site which again you should check it out I'm, I'm not working there but they're so good uh, the RTX 3070 Ti has been confirmed and it's a 16 gigabyte GPU and it was found on like a Lenovo Prevo gaming PC with a 700k and all this great stuff but 16 gigs 
for 3070 Ti. Uh, when will we see that? It's like an OEM uh, unveil. But does this mean that we will see other variants with higher VRAM with the RTX 3000 series or not? I'm really interested in that because the Ti models, the 70 Ti models usually bring out the same performance of the 80 models. But the same VRAM and same everything. So I don't know. Uh, it's really confusing in a way. Uh, it's the first time that we would see like a TI model uh, with a higher VRAM, nearly double, like 50% higher VRAM, and for the same price. Like, is it to make the people who haven't bought the RTX 3080 buy this GPU? Or we might see like a 20 gigs RTX 3080. Uh, I mean, never say never. We're looking at a 24 gigabyte RTX 3090 for 1500 bucks. Why we won't see something for 800 that has 20 gigs, right? So yeah, um, uh, that's been it. That's like a kind of a like, uh, I don't know, a news. Uh, it's a news but coming from one of your favorite friends, uh, the gaming dude. Yeah, that used to be my usual like uh, old channel name, but it's GD Tech. So GD stands for Gaming Dude. It's not freaking science, right? And if you like that video, press on that like button, my friend. Then uh, uh, let me know what do you think about this type of series or like this type of videos where I'm kind of chatting with you and having kind of like free to do anything. I'm not, you know, uh, being held by a script or anything of that sort. Uh, it's not professional, but you know. I'm having fun and it's freaking hot in here like it's freaking hot you don't know how much i uh, like how hard i freaking work uh, in order to get this kind of like noise free environment and there's freaking car horns everywhere that kind of spoils that out ah, damn when will winter come it's like freaking 40 degrees in here celsius not 40 but like 27 i'll see you in the next one guys and uh yeah peace